But Rock Fire's well clear with the 100 metres left to go. He's all too good. Look at him go four for four. And Rock Fire, the rocket, has won by four lengths. It's great to catch up with Robert Heathcote to talk about his stable superstar, Rock Fire. And Rob, how's he doing? Yeah, he's doing super, Sammy. Even though we had a lot of rain overnight, I still galloped him this morning. He went super, and I'm excited. This is this is what it's all about. This is the uh, the cutest grand final, the big jewel on the weekend, and uh, kind of crazy. I looked at his price yesterday, and a dollar ten. I mean, that's black caviar stuff, isn't it? It's crazy. There's been a big build-up into this race meeting. I mean, people have been talking about it for for weeks, and it's exciting times. Sammy, it's the excitement of racing in Queensland, Cutis. It's been the success story. I've been involved in racing in Queensland for 22 years now, and it's been the winner. It's been the shining star that whole time, and it's just ramped up to a whole new de new level now with this Cutis duel coincide for two-year-olds and for three-year-olds, and uh, coinciding with the, the sale next week, which is, I would think, the most affordable, best horse sale in Australia. So, Rob, have you got your eye on a few at the, this year's cutest sale? Oh, for sure, Sammy. It's the most popular sale I buy at every year, and uh, I'll be down there shopping, and I'll be down there on the Sunday looking at them all, and I'll be there on the Monday and Tuesday. So if anyone's keen on getting into anything, either let me know prior to the sale, but for sure go onto my website after the sale. I'll have some nice buys up there. And you've bought some beauties out of there, of course. The big hero, Buff. Yeah, Buff Ring, you know, go back to, I think, 2011. I bought him there, $22,000, and he won $7 million. But, you know, with a host of um, really good, prominent Queensland sires being represented, it's just a great buying sale. And there's been another cash injection into the cutest scheme. Oh, fantastic. I mean, have a look at this race on Saturday. You know, there, it was muted that I may go to the Golden Slipper with Rothfire, but I'm happy to stay here in Queensland and race for five hundred thousand dollars. Look, at the end of the day, guys, that's that's Group One prize money in anyone's language. Tell us about Rothfire himself. He he just cruises to the races. When he turns up, he walks around the yard like he's an old pony, and he's done it twenty five times before. He's he looks amazing. Quite extraordinary. It's a long time. In fact, I probably go back to buffering when I have a horse similar to this horse, particularly with his characteristics. He's so calm, relaxed. He's cool. He's quiet, but he slingshots out of the barriers, he's got a really high cruising speed, and he can really let down. I, I suppose, you know, I was just talking about incredible price, Black Caviar, Winks price, dollar ten. But you know, it's the Gold Coast. I don't have a fantastic record down there. There's a little bit of rain about, but strictly on form, what he's done, he's entitled to be a dollar ten. And Robbie rides him so well, he has so much faith in the horse. Gee, I think you could put the jobs back on Sam and you're just about winning on him. But look, he loves him, obviously. Jimmy Byrne, you know, it's a sad story. Jimmy won on his first two, had that unfortunate fall at Doom and on a Wednesday and, you know, it's cost him the ride on this horse. But who's to say he won't get back on? But I know Robbie would take a crowbar to get him off. And a big team of owners in this horse, which makes it all the more exciting um, because, you know, that last win at Doombin, the, the stand was going nuts. Look, I, I, I'm so congratulatory of David Van Dyke with Alligator Blood. Every state needs a champion, and Alligator Blood's our champion in this state. And who's to say that uh, this young two-year-old coming through, he can't be a, uh, uh, a quality assistant to uh, Alligator Blood on the national stage. What will happen uh, if he takes out the cutest stool on Saturday, which we all expect he will, what will happen after this? He's going to have a wee break, a uh, couple of weeks out, and I'm going to keep him up here and race him uh, during our winter carnival. I like the champagne steaks and possibly the size produce.